today in the pedal vault, the Marshall JH1 Jackhammer. So here we have the Marshall Jackhammer. It's the current and recent iteration of this, well, classic distortion pedal. It comes in this modern Marshall Stompbox pedals housing. It's very heavy actually. And it has four knobs, three of them being concentric. Uh, we have a mode knob that lets you switch between overdrive and distortion. That's currently on overdrive. You really can't see where those knobs are. So trust me on this one. Then we have a double pot volume and gain. Volume is maxed, gain is on zero. Then we have a three band EQ that we are familiar with on the MT2. We have bass treble and we have frag and contour. So I suppose that this is actually a mid knob with a shifted frequency control. But let's find out how the pedal looks on the curve. And I've already activated it. We have a huge bass boost at around 130 hertz or 120. Um, really broad Q, really high in volume. Then we have a gap at 750 or 720 hertz. And we have this high, well, well, it's not a peak, but, but you, you get what I mean, um, at 2.4 kilohertz. So when we crank the gain, it adds high frequencies, it also shifts the center frequency. It's now at around 4K. The mids kind of stay the same and the bass is heavily reduced. Let's go back to zero. Now this should be treble. It's very subtle, shifts the high frequencies. Okay, when we turn it fully counterclockwise, it kind of drastically lowers the high frequencies. Okay, so back to noon. So bass, we already have plenty bass. We don't need anything more, but let's do it anyways. Okay, this is subtle as well. Here we are. And when I go fully counterclockwise, cuts the bass nicely. But I think from noon to about full, we're talking 2 dB. It's not much. Okay, let's see if Freck does anything when contour is on noon. Yes, it does. It shifts the gap. Well, let's crank it full. Okay, so it's a reversed mid control. Uh, cranking it actually cuts the mids. We have the gap. A uh, frack is now fully counterclockwise, and we have it at oh 140 hertz. That's slow. Okay, so mm, on the mid, we have it at around 700 hertz. And when we crank it, it goes up to, well, here, 6.5. Okay, so back to noon. And let's set contour counterclockwise. So now we have neutral mids, I think. Well, and now the frag control isn't doing anything actually. Okay, so we just have a mid cut control. That's interesting. So now let's find out how this pedal actually sounds. Ha, gotcha. I still want to compare the overdrive mode and the distortion mode and I'm not shooting this as an additional feature because I forgot about it. Uh, this was obviously intentional. So here is overdrive and here is distortion. 
So in distortion mode, the highs are reduced and the lows stay the same, I think. Well, yes. So it seems to be a shelf around the 800 hertz region. Let's see if, well, again, it can be down. Let's see if treble does anything different. Now, bass. No, nothing. So, oh, contour. Let's look here. It seems to shift the frequency kinda from around 800 to 850. Okay, you can't see the frequency and here you can't see it as well. Now you can see it. 6k and overdrive it's at 6k. So there you have it, the differences between OD and distortion. And now let's really hear how this pedal sounds. For this live review part, I want to try out if the jackhammer can do chainsaw with a chainsaw pedal in front of it and if it sounds any good. Therefore my signal chain is my Blackhead Custom into the well cheapest chainsaw that I have, the TC Electronic Eye Master, into the jackhammer. Uh, this is by the way a cheap pedal as well, that's why I chose the Eye Master, into my XFX. And my XFX I chose the Brit 800 mod amp I've set the gain pretty low I reduced the bass as well as the mid and this goes into my cap and my cap it's the um, Aris effects v31 IR this was free some 
time last year. I don't know if it's still free. So anyway, here's the clean sound. Very low gainy. And now I uh, dial in the jackhammer, maybe adjust the amp, but I hope I haven't too. Not happy with the sound it's way too boomy has way too much bass so let's reduce the bass I think and also crank the treble on the amp So, uh, we'll just keep going. Uh, activate the chainsaw and see if this makes any difference. Well, it should because it's a very drastic pedal. sounds awful. <laughs> I hope it's the amp model, so let's switch it. Uh, actually I didn't want to do it, but you've, you've got to do what you've got to do. So maybe the JFM this is any better? <laughs>
So this was way better sounding and I just switched the amp model. I don't know if this is good or if this is not good. However, I still have dialed in the jackhammer pretty heavily. I actually can't see how I dialed it in. I have to look so... Ah, those knobs. I hate those knobs. What have I done? So basically travel full bases around uh, 10, 11 o'clock as well as gain and volume. And on the iMaster I've actually reduced the volume as well because it was too pumping. But now the sound is really cool I think. So can the jackhammer chainsaw? Kinda. And now let's go to the verdict. <sighs> I don't like this pedal. It's... Well, the general problem with this pedal, it has way too much bass and no highs at all or just some weird ones. It's very hard for me to dial in a sound that I like. The contour knob, well, I don't like contour knobs, I like mid controls more um, or just the contour knob if you already have a mid knob. So well no, I, I couldn't get a good sound out of it. In front of my standard clean amp model it sounded not good and uh, in the live review part, it, well it, it highly depends on the kind of amp you have and uh, the less bass your amp has, uh, the better, I feel. Uh, even though I have to fully uh, zero the bass on the pedal. Ah, <sighs> well... No, sorry. It's not, not, not my pedal. Well, actually I borrowed it, so it's technically really not my pedal, but... Uh, I don't want to buy one. So today's question, how do you like the jackhammer? Do you have one? Is there any special trick that I have forgot or that I haven't found out yet? Let me know down in the comment section. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.